now we will discuss about the another form of energy that is ocean wave energy the energy which is associated with ocean waves is termed as ocean wave energy harnessing of ocean wave energy can be done by using three technologies first surface followers or by pitching devices and next oscillating water columns and third focusing devices here we will discuss about an oscillating water column wave power generator the kinetic energy with of the energy and the kinetic energy of the moving water which is moving along the waves is known as the ocean wave energy which is used to generate electricity the figure below now will depict an oscillating water column wave power generator this blue colored structure represents the concrete chamber this white line represents the water rises when the water rises the level of the sea decreases this arrow represents the pushing of air and this red color structure represents the turbine and generator in this power generator we use the wave ocean waves entering a fixed device to do the mechanical work this mechanical work of the force of the ocean waves is used to generate the electricity the compressed air which is produced here is used to rotate the turbine and the rotation of turbine in turn generates the electricity this is how we can generate the electricity by using an oscillator water column wave power generator which uses the energy of the ocean waves now we will discuss about the geothermal energy inside the earth there is a lot of heat energy this heat energy is known as the geothermal energy this the this geothermal energy is also a renewable source of energy but the heat energy below the surface of earth is not due to solar energy means there is no relation between solar energy and geothermal energy as we know that inside the earth or in the interior part of the earth the temperature is so high 
that it melts the rocks these molten rocks are known as magma when the molten rocks rises up the earth's interior part they come in contact to water when this part comes in contact to water it heats up the water and the water converted into the steam which get trapped between the rocks and under pressure now the steam which is generated is compressed due to the large pressure and the forces out the hot water in the form of natural geysers the steam which is trapped inside the earth is used to rotate the turbines which in turn generates the power so in the geothermal energy the most important part which generates the electricity is the heat energy which is inside in, in the interior part of the earth and it is a renewable source of energy Now we will discuss about nuclear energy. As the name suggests, nuclear energy means the energy which is stored in the central part of an atom that is nucleus. Nuclear energy can be produced by two reactions or two processes. They are as follows first is nuclear fusion and other is nuclear fission nuclear fusion is a combination of two lighter nuclei to form a one heavier nuclei means two small atoms combine together to form a heavy atom with the releasement of a tremendous amount or a large amount of energy this process naturally been taking place in the sun in the sun two hydrogen atoms or some atoms of hydrogen combine together to form helium nuclei which occurs at a very high temperature and pressure in its interior part while nuclear fission is a process in which a heavy nuclei splits into smaller nuclei with a releasement of a large amount of energy in the form of heat nuclear fission is a reaction which is carried out manually in the device nuclear reactor to produce electricity
In nuclear fusion, we have taken example of sun. In nuclear fusion, we can take example of uranium 238. When the uranium is fused, it releases three fast moving neutrons along with two smaller atoms. When this process continues, it results in a series of reaction which involves a releasement of large amount of energy. This process or a series of reaction is known as a chain reaction. This chain reaction can be of again two types. Uncontrolled chain reaction and controlled chain reaction. First we will discuss about uncontrolled chain reaction. When the chain reaction of uranium is not controlled, it is termed as uncontrolled chain reaction which results in the releasement of large amount of energy. It releases so much of energy that it is cause of explodedness or it may damage to human life and many other damages to nature. It implies that nuclear fission in an uncontrolled manner may lead to disaster. Controlled chain reaction is being carried out in nuclear power plant and it is a source of energy to us which produces most of the electricity being used by us. A controlled chain reaction occurs in a device termed as nuclear reactor. These reactors are basically designed for this purpose. To control reaction in the nuclear reactor, we have controlling rods. The basic function of these controlling rods is to absorb the excess releasement of neutrons. When these excess neutrons are absorbed, it controls the reaction which is taking place in the reactor. And moderator is used to absorb the heat and to slow down the neutrons which are carrying out the nuclear fission reaction. The released energy in the nuclear power plant heat up the water to produce steam. The steam which is produced sets the turbine to produce electricity. Means the steam which is produced is used to rotate the blades of the turbine. In turn it generates electricity by using the generator. In our country we have many power stations like at Kalpakkam, at Narora, at Kota and at Tarapur. These are the few nuclear power plants which are situated in our country and produce much of the electricity which is being used by us. That's what we have to study in a source of energy which are used to. These are the few methods which produces the electricity used by us.